Alright, I hate to make a video like this because it's a waste of time, but I gotta say something since I've been getting attacked for stealing credit for the Retro Arcade Sentinels reveal, and I just want to clear things up. When I made the video yesterday saying I called it about the reveal, it was referring to calling it when I said it would happen in the morning, which it did. Comic Anime Figs was the one who approached me about the rock mystery a few months ago on IG and I said cool I'll make a video about it to get the news out there and in that video I gave him the credit I'll play the clip for you now. Thanks to Instagram user Comic Anime Figs who sent me this image you see on your screen and well will you look at that the rock is identically shaped as the X-Men arcade game that the Sentinels hit you with. So now that you heard that, he made a YouTube video about my video that I put out yesterday saying calling it under his username LionsDen99, that's his YouTube username, saying I didn't give him credit when I clearly did months ago. The credit I was just taking was calling it being revealed in the morning. Maybe that's where some folks are getting confused, perhaps. Maybe when I said something along the lines where some folks didn't believe me, but some in the community were sticking up for me saying that I was right about it, and I could see why that would cause some confusion there. I don't know. I guess there's just a big miscommunication or something, because it's just strange how he didn't reach out to me before making his video. I wish he did so drama could be avoided. Maybe he wanted another shout out there, and if so, my bad, that's on me. I was tired on zero sleep and I couldn't function. I was just caught up in the excitement of the reveal and I just completely forgot to mention him again. But I gave him his credit already before, so for anyone to say I gave him zero credit when I clearly did the first time around is just ridiculous. YouTube sucks, man. You forget one thing uh, without any bad intent behind it and you get attacked for it. Now, I don't want anyone to send any hate his way or even my way. I never fight or start beef with someone over toys because it's fucking immature to fight over toys. Come on now. We are both grown ass men that can solve this. If I disappointed any of my fans, if you are under the perception that I'm some sort of credit thief, then I apologize and I'll do better, but I never stole credit before, so why would I do it now? Again, I already gave him his credit. How is it stealing credit when I gave him his credit before? That's what I'm trying to <laughs> make sense of all this because I think he took it the wrong way, but I don't know that as he never reached out to me again. Here's a screenshot of our last message on IG, and it was on May 24th, so he didn't message me at all today or yesterday about it. So he got his receipts on his channel, I got my receipts here too. And maybe he didn't see the video I made the first time giving him the credit, I'm not sure. I don't want to disappoint anyone like that because I know what it was like to not have a voice before having a platform. So. I like to look out for the little guy because I was once that. You know that I'm that guy. If I fuck up, I own to it. Maybe because I'm the bigger channel that I'll get the credit regardless. Yo, I even gave him credit on my IG stories posting a screenshot of his post. So my friends brought this to my attention that you posted a video about me stealing your credit on Facebook too. I don't have Facebook anymore so I wouldn't know and they said you posted it but then deleted it right after. So what's going on? If you mean it, stand on business. But I gotta defend my name here. Your video was posted about 20 hours, 21 hours ago or so, and you haven't even responded to the comments yet, which you got less than 10. I know we got lives, but I can't get to all my hundreds of comments I get each video, but the amount you have, you can't. That's what I got when I first started my YouTube channel, and it's easy to reply. I was watching Deadpool Wolverine yesterday, so it wasn't until I got home last night that I saw all of this. And I'm like, oh man, well, now I gotta defend myself. You have people in the comments telling you, have you reached out to me first? And you have yet to reply because you didn't. Here's a screen recording to show everyone here on my IG account that you didn't reach out to me. The last day you messaged me was May 24th. You clearly got my contact in my DMs, bro. Just reach out. I'm so confused because in your video you say it's not a big deal, but <laughs> you are making it a big deal when making a video about it. 
I don't know if you're clout chasing because I got a lot of haters that I'm sure will help you build a big following real quick. I never made my channel off of someone else's name. I did it because everyone who followed me on IG years before I ever even started a channel wanted to see me incorporate my ACBA style into reviews, which I did. But I mainly did it because I intrinsically wanted to do reviews. Again, I don't know if it's clout chasing, if that's the case. I hope I'm wrong, but it's never a good look building a channel off of someone else's name if that's what you intend to do going forward. But making a video before reaching out to me, you just started a negative campaign against me, and that sucks, man. I broke the news out for you and shouted your name out, and this is the thanks I get. I'm never doing favors for anyone again, so lesson learned. You got your own channel, you got videos up, so why didn't you just break the news out yourself on your own channel? I just don't understand. Like, I'm not mad, bro. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm just disappointed that you didn't reach out to me first before posting that video, so all of this could have been avoided. Again, honest mistake of me forgetting to name drop you because I even credited a heffalump with that sentinel mock-up in my last video and originally when i showed that video that was an image i grabbed from reddit crediting a reddit user when it wasn't actually the that reddit user's photo i thought it was his uh it, but it wasn't because a heffalump approached me saying that that was his photo and i wanted to make sure i credit the right person which i did i even realized after the video that i forgot to shout you out and i was going to shout you out on the next time i talked about the arcade sentinels it's happened before too with me like if someone forgot to credit me and i'll approach them i'm like hey man i, I think you forgot to mention me or something and you know i don't want to name any names but they'll be like oh man you know i'm sorry i forgot but i i got you next time or i'll, I'll put the credit like in an Instagram post or something like that. I'm like, all right, cool, man. And even if you didn't give me credit, all right, whatever, you know, like I approach you and at least you acknowledged it and, you know, it's cool from there. But nope, you had to make a video first before approaching me. Dude, I even want to talk about giving you credit when I appeared on Shardimus Prime and Century Productions Hella Sick Toys Live podcast. But I still credit the person that approached me. I'm like, oh, dude, it's amazing. You're giving me content to work with. Uh, I, I'm, this is awesome. I'll talk about it because, yeah. you know, it, it, it makes for a great discussion. And that video got, like, almost 20,000 views or something like that, right? Like, right away. I was like, man. Awesome. Was, but, you know, I didn't watermark yeah. it because there was another image I put. It was, um, uh, it was like a mock-up image. And I did credit the wrong person in that video. So that's why I didn't watermark it. But the actual person came up to me and be like, hey, you know, that was mine. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I'll credit you. I pinned the comment. And then in my Instagram, I started crediting them yeah. later. So, you know, because yeah, I don't want to always get it right in the videos. Shit happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, there's, and, there's, and I'm sure he's not mad at you. Like it, people can make a mistake. No. Do, do yeah. something, but as long as you try to make it right, you're like, oh, yeah. hey, I got no intentions of yeah. taking anything from anyone. You know what I mean? Like, so that's just like, communicate wrong. Yeah, I don't want to get anything wrong. Like, I really want to give the person credit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Where I talked about giving you credit and even a Heffalums. Did I mention you guys by name? No, I didn't remember you nor a Heffalums name because I'm not good with names at all. And I didn't want to credit the wrong person if I mistakenly got you confused for someone else. So it was just safer that way. By the way, a heffalump is not giving me shit or anything like that. Like, he's cool. He's chilling. When have I ever stole anything from anyone? All those San Diego Comic Con coverages I did last year, any coverage where I'm not pre present, I credit all the photo sources. And anytime there's a photo I'm not sure where the source comes from, what do I always say to my audience? Hey, if you know this is yours or if you know the source, please let me know so that I can give credit on a video or pin a comment for everyone to see. I was only gonna make that video of solving the rock mystery if I knew that I was 100% sure it was that. After watching a lot of gameplay on that since I don't have the X-Men retro game. I haven't played that in years. I just knew it was that. I wasn't going to put something out if I didn't believe 101% in it and then it ends up being clickbait. Clickbait is not my style. So to be fair, he gets the credit and I just get the credit for breaking the news out there first with a YouTube video. All I did was 
added way more insight to it because if I knew it wasn't that then I wouldn't have made that video at all. I gave him his credit already and when I put my video out all I did was add more insight to it on why it would be this because I know there would be a lot of people that didn't believe it. So comic anime figs, Lions Den 99, whatever you want to call yourself, I don't want us to paint each other as villains here. But I'd rather settle this man to man than just messaging behind a keyboard or, you know, doing videos. I would personally give you my phone number so we can talk it out. Again, I want no one here sending him any kind of hate his way. I'm sure he's a good guy and I hope he knows I never had any bad intent with this. Like I said, I gave him credit for it a couple of times before already. So the one time I don't, I'm the villain. When I already established his credit before, I mean, am I wrong here? Am I seeing this the right way? If not, keep me straight in the comments. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I just feel like I didn't steal anything since I already gave him the credit. It wasn't meant to steal your thunder in any way, but the reality is that most people are going to give me the credit because I'm the bigger platform that broke the news out. And no matter how many times I credit you, a lot of people will always give the credit to me because I'm the bigger platform. Or they credit me for stealing it, man. It's a freaking double-edged sword, so I'm just trying to find a reasonable win-win situation here. Look, I don't want to waste San Diego Comic-Con this week on drama, so I know my haters will give me shit anyways. I don't give a shit what they say about me in the comments. I see videos or comments talking shit about me, but it's more like them hating how I review or my opinion on a figure they like or dislike. That's whatever. I don't care. But when it comes to me stealing credit, then I have to defend my name. Look... I'm just trying to enjoy all the cool San Diego Comic-Con reveals with everyone else. Again, regardless what you think of me, I said my piece already. I hope comic anime figs, Lions Den 99, and I can clear things up because I've seen enough slander to my name already when I feel like they are missing some context. So, comic anime figs, Lions Den 99, you said I broke your trust, so I hope this video will help restore it in some way going forward. But just know it also broke my trust in you too. It goes both ways and trust is earned every day. I just want to end this video on a positive note. Look man, I don't want to disappoint you. So you being a fan of me and my channel and have supported me throughout the years, then again, apologies if it came off the wrong way. And thank you. When I made that rock mystery video, it was my way to give back to you as a fan too. I know you said it's not a big deal, but when my reputation is on the line, it's a fucking big deal because I'm not like that. That's not me. I worked hard to build my channel for about five years to bring some prominence by earning my viewers trust. So let's figure this out together so we can clear things up. So if we do clear it up, we don't have to take it any further than this. If I disappointed any of my fans, again, I apologize if that's your perception of me. From the last video, I never come from a place of bad intent, so don't know what else I can say or do, but if there's any wrongs I've done, then I always want to right my wrongs. But when I said I called it about the Sentinel reveals, I said I called it that it would be revealed on Thursday morning, and it was revealed Thursday morning. Alright, so I'm out of here. I just wanted to get that out there. And uh, enjoy Comic-Con weekend, man. And we'll be talking about the reveals later on on this channel. All right? Peace, peace.